Okay, so I always make a longer one and a shorter one. This is the very, very short one. The idea is very simple. People are for Ron Paul. They're not against Obama. They're not against Romney. They're for Ron Paul. That is the huge difference. This is why we can pull this thing out. Is because people are for Ron Paul. They're for freedom and liberty. They're for ending the Fed. Right? They're not against the Fed. They're for sound money. They're not against war. They're for peace and for trade. Right? This is the most powerful thing we've got going for us. Not being, right? Because everyone here has voted against somebody. They're not necessarily for whoever it was you were voting for. You were against, right? Whoever it was. Like, I know a lot of guys right now that they're not really so much for Obama as against the Republican because they've been programmed to be against the Republicans. And once they get to know Ron Paul, they're like, hmm, but wait a minute, he's a Republican. I must be against them because, you know, that's a lot of programming. Right? Years and years of programming. And we've got guys changing over from Democrat and Independent into Republicans so that they can get him elected, so they can be delegates. Who's doing it? Anybody doing that for Obama? Anybody doing that for anybody else? Right? Nobody's switching parties to get Romney in. <laughs> it's ridiculous to even say. Nobody's in the Republican Party switching out to try to get Obama reelected either. Right? The, the, the bottom line is, Ron Paul, he's popular. And see, this is the whole point. All these people now getting fay. I see it all over Facebook. I see it all over the place. Oh, they're just going to steal the election from us. There's no use trying. No. Ten times more effort now. Right? Right? We're all niggas now, motherfuckers. We're all niggas now, right? I gotta be twice as good to be half as good. Now you know what it's like. Welcome to the club. So, get out there. Self-governance, not an easy thing. Self-governance is difficult. Right? Winning these things, it's hard work. But see, we proved it in Iowa, actually. And there is the, you know, there's a couple of good takeaways from Iowa. Not, none of this, oh, well, you know, 20% was good. No, that's, that's not the takeaway. The takeaway is that where they were watching, there wasn't fraud. But we couldn't watch everywhere all the time. We didn't have enough time to organize. Okay, well now we know for a fact that they are, in fact, going to blatantly steal it. And they have the blessing of the mainstream media. 100%. Nobody's going to try and, uh, you know, report on actual vote fraud. They might give you some theater and some stories, right? Some, but they're not going to give you any news. They're not going to tell you what actually happened. So on the ground in Iowa, I know, yeah, we've got to look forward to New Hampshire and, you know, South Carolina and Nevada and all these other places, but the remnants in Iowa, you guys need to sit down and make videos and prove, right, just keep proving the fact that they stole that. That's the, the bottom line. As we go forward, and then in New Hampshire and in every place else, you got to ten times more effort. Right? Because it worked. Everywhere where there were, where the great rent Santorum and Romney did not do well, where there were actual watchers, where there were no watchers, they did really, really well. What a coincidence. So we need more watchers. I'm telling you, self governance is you, you got to get off the couch. Right? When it comes time in Hawaii, believe me, I, I, I will actually have to leave my house. <laughs> right? Okay, so you guys are going to have to get out there and just work ten times harder. Like I said, man, welcome to the club, right? You're going to have to be twice as good to be considered half as good. Work ten times as good, ten times as much, then maybe we'll get the recognition that you know, he deserves, where he's like, you know, at 50% where, where he ought to be. Because I'm telling you, truth, peace, liberty, right, sound money, killing the Fed, right, trading, ending wars, reining in this out-of-control government, reining in spending. These are the things 70, 80, 90% of the people this resonates with. Right? Everybody. Nobody's for torture. Nobody's for more war. Nobody's for more out of control spending. Nobody's for the FDA raiding Amish farmers for, for raw milk, for God's sakes. Nobody's for taking grandma's mar you know, medical marijuana when she's got cancer. Nobody's for that. Right? They're for common sense. They're for decency. Ron Paul, common sense and decency. For liberty. Right? That's the difference. Not against Obama, not against Romney. Right? And all, it's a war of attrition now, guys. Kane's gone. Bachman's gone. Soon Santorum will be gone. Soon Greenwich will be gone. Huntsman will be gone. All these guys will be gone. So all you got to do is last. And work ten times harder. And don't become fey. And oh, it's too weak. Right? No, nope, just go to work. <laughs>